In this video, I'm going to be repairing this late 2011 13-inch Apple MacBook Pro logic board that has a bad LVDS connector and no backlight. Now, um, it appears that this board has suffered some very, very, very minor water damage. Uh, and I actually got this machine uh, that this board came in off eBay for only $30, so it was a pretty good deal. Uh, the board does turn on and work. Uh, I haven't tested booting an OS on it yet, but I'm assuming that works just fine. Um, so all that I'm going to do for right now is see if I can fix this backlight issue. Now obviously, something has blown up here and it has caused uh, the, uh, the LVDS connector to completely get annihilated with it. So I'm um, not exactly sure what, what that would have been. but. Um, the machine, when I got it, it had no screen, and the LVDS connector was kind of just hanging out the back. It's like someone had just torn the screen off, so I'm pretty sure the action of tearing the screen assembly off the machine uh, is probably what caused this problem. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just clean this up uh, and put on a new LVDS connector. Now, as you can see right here, I have another LVDS connector. Um, I actually got this from a... 2009 MacBook uh, unibody logic board, but um, as you can see here, uh, the connector is exactly the same size and of course is compatible. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use my hot air gun to remove this bad LVDS connector, and then we're going to go ahead and solder this new LVDS connector on and see if that fixes the issue. If it doesn't fix the issue, then uh, we'll go through the board and troubleshoot and try to find out why the backlight is not working. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and put my camera in a tripod and begin the soldering process. So I'll be right back. Alright, so you can see I've got the board ready here to begin soldering. So let's go ahead and first off apply some flux around the connector. We want a decent amount here. Um, and now we'll just go ahead and use the hot air gun to heat it up and remove it from the board. Now heating this up does take quite some time. Uh, it did take, uh, I'd say about five minutes or so to get this one off, maybe a bit more than that. Uh, so yeah, it does take quite some time, but I did manage to get this off without melting the bottom plastic. So uh, that's good. Alright, and as you can see, I got the connector off, uh, so now I've just got to check and make sure that there are no uh, missing pads from the uh, place where the LVDS connector is supposed to go. Um, so for right now, I'm going to go ahead and get my soldering iron out, and I just go ahead and run over these pads here, and uh, hopefully... There will be no uh, no missing pads, but it already looks like there might be some.
All right, so that looks pretty good. There are some missing pads here, so I am gonna have to uh, open a schematic and uh, figure out where those pads are supposed to go. Uh, but other than that, it looks pretty good. Uh, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get some solder wick out here and uh, remove all the solder on um, this front part of the connector right here. Because you want that to be clean so when you put the connector down, uh, it'll seat properly and then you can flow some solder on the sides and it should just flow underneath it like it's supposed to be. Uh, so I'm gonna take my solder wick here and just wick off this excess solder. Now I am gonna leave the solder on the pins. That way I can just heat it up with the hot air station and that will uh, flow all that solder back onto the pins. So. Alright, so it doesn't look like there are that many, uh, or there, there's that much solder on there, so I think that should be good enough. Uh, to go ahead and solder the new connector on. Now before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and take a quick picture of this just so I can keep note of which pins were missing. Uh, so that way, uh, when I go back, I can go ahead and uh, uh, jump those to the proper place on the board. So let me give you a little bit of a closer look uh, at what we've got here. So you can see uh, the two missing pins right there. And uh, that's where that burnt spot on the connector was. Uh, so I'm going to have to see if I can fix that. Uh, but once I fix that, I think that should probably get the backlight working. So let me go ahead and get the connector soldered on. And uh, we'll go ahead and resume the video from there. So I'll be right back. All right, so we are now ready to begin soldering the new connector on the board. So as you can see, I have actually gone ahead and wicked all the solder off of the pads uh, for the connector here. And what I ended up having to do was uh, buy some actual new LVDS connectors. Uh, so you can see I have some right here. Uh, and these are, of course, the ones for the 13-inch model. Uh, the ones for the 15-inch model are slightly bigger than this. Uh, but we've got one new connector right here. And what I'm going to go ahead and do first is just place it on the board. And then I'm going to take uh, my soldering iron and first solder this big pad to hold it down. And uh, then we'll solder all these small pads uh, for each of the pins. So go ahead and place it down here and I'll get my tweezers to align it properly. So we'll just take it like this. And we'll just of course align it like it's supposed to be here. That's looking pretty good there. So then what you want to do is just make sure it's fully pressed down. And of course make sure the pins are lined up, which they are. So then you just want to press it down, and there is flux on this board of course, so it's going to stick to that. And you just want to make sure uh, the connector is as far down as it can be, because of course once we solder it in, uh, you want all those pins to be uh, attached. Uh, so, now we'll take our soldering iron here. And let me turn down the heat just a little bit. Alright, so we'll go ahead and take our soldering iron. Get some solder up here. And then we will just put some solder on the end of the iron, just like this. And then, while holding down the connector, I'm going to go ahead and apply the solder to the edge. And that might have been a little bit too much, but it won't cause any problems. 
So yeah, and that'll just get the connector to stick down. And then of course, we'll do the same thing uh, to the other side of it here. Of course, I'm trying not to put as much solder on there this time. And yeah, that should uh, get the connector to stay uh, attached to the board. And then there's also the pad on the front of the connector, so then we'll just take a small bit of solder, and we might actually need to add a little bit of flux to this. Now, I don't want to get the flux in the connector because it's kind of a pain to get it out. So I'll just put a little bit on there. And then we'll, of course, just take some more solder and uh, first we'll heat up that side and then we'll just try to get a little bit of solder in there. Of course, you don't really want to get it in the connector, so let me just take this. Get that out. Alright, I think that should be about good. Uh, so now, of course, we'll just apply a little bit more flux to these pins on the back here. And then we will apply solder to all of those pins. Uh, so the way we do that is just put a little bit of solder on the iron. Just like that. And then you're just going to take it, just kind of drag it along the pins there. Of course, you want to make sure you get it on every pin. Uh, and that you don't bridge any of the pins. So, if you do bridge some, it's okay. You can usually recover pretty easily just by kind of doing this. Alright, so as you can see, I have just finished soldering in the LVDS connector. So if you take a look at it here, you can see uh, the solder joints. And uh, if you take a look right there, you'll notice that I had to run a wire. Now the reason that happened was because when I initially soldered this connector on and tested the LCD, um, the two last pins were, sh were uh, bridged and I didn't notice it. And of course, the that happened to just be the... Uh, main LCD power rail uh, shorted to ground. Of course, you know, possibly the worst two things to have shorted. Uh, but regardless, uh, they were shorted and it blew up an inductor and a trace right there. So I had to uh, solder on a new inductor. I don't know if you can kind of make that out. I soldered it onto that capacitor on the same rail. And then I soldered it to the voltage output uh, of that IC right there. And uh, yeah, so now I think it should work just fine. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in the MagSafe 
and uh, we will see if it works. So here we go. And look at that, the display is on. So let's see if we get a flashing question mark. And these boards usually take a while to show it, so let's just give it a sec. speed and look at that there is the flashing question mark now one thing you will notice is that the backlight is working perfectly fine now I may or may not have mentioned at the beginning of this video uh, that there were some burnt traces or some missing pads off this connector but after scrubbing it down a little bit with uh, flux and some solder wick those pads actually were there and were just for some reason all black and and disgusting looking uh, so yeah, as you can see, it looks perfectly fine now, and it was those two pins right next to those two burnt-looking capacitors, uh, but apparently those capacitors are good or the backlight wouldn't work. Uh, so yeah, that has been uh, the LVDS connector replacement on this late 2011 13-inch Apple MacBook Pro logic board. Uh, so now what I'll do is I'm just going to go ahead and uh, put this board in its chassis, and uh, we'll go ahead and boot an OS on it and uh, see how the display looks. So I'll be right back. All right, so I've just finished installing the logic board into its chassis. Uh, so let's go ahead and power it on. All right, the machine powered up and the display is working. And it looks perfect on this screen, so let's go ahead and boot it. All right, well, since this is uh, booting from a hard disk, it will take quite some time. So once it's done, I will go ahead and resume the video. All right, so as you can see, the machine has just finished booting. And uh, here are the specs right here. So uh, as you can see, the display is working perfectly fine. It doesn't have any glitches when it's moved. Uh, the backlight is working perfectly fine. It changes like you would expect. So yeah, that has been the repair of this late 2011 13-inch MacBook Pro logic board uh, that had a bad LVDS connector. So hope you enjoyed this video.